Having confirmed that the processes in each line are in statistical control using XBAR R charts, the next step for each line is to determine process capability. To begin, navigate to Capability Analysis within Statistical Process Control. We're measuring plate dimensions in millimeters, so we have continuous data. Next, we proceed to conduct normality testing to determine if our data follows a normal distribution. To conduct the normality test for line 1, navigate to the Identify Data Distribution tab and click on the graph. Select the data for line 1 and the column for subgroup size. Go to the distribution size and select 1 for the number of distributions and normal distribution for the type of test. Click OK. We can see from the results that we cannot reject normality. Returning to the main sheet, proceed with capability analysis, ensuring to select yes for normal distribution since line 1's data is supported to be normally distributed. Since there's no evidence of systemic variation between subgroups in the control charts, proceed with normal capability analysis. Specify line 1's data for measurement and the subgroup column. Set the lower specification limit to 185 mm, upper specification limit to 215 mm, and a target to 200 mm. Click OK to generate the normal process capability report for line 1. In the overall capability, we will find several key metrics. These include PP and PPK, which are important for assessing process performance. Additionally, we'll observe the confidence interval for PPK and the values of CP and CPK. According to industry guidelines, a CPK value equal to or greater than 1.33 is typically targeted. Therefore, there may be a need for a minor improvement in the process of line 1. Furthermore, we will discover the expected value for defective parts per million. In this example, the total parts per million is 92 for line 1. This analysis suggests a potential need for slight improvement in line 1's process.